on today guys and welcome back to another episode of Midnight Club 3. Now the last episode that I said that we are finished with the choppers. Now our next one is the SUVs. Which I apparently think we have the last one is the exotics. Because the exotics are going to be the last one to do for the remainder of the club races. So I'm going to be finishing strong. Going all hard as I can. I know that sounds weird. I'm going to pause on that. And try to get this game done. Like I do. I want to be finished with it very, very bad. So I can continue on with the uh, races with everyone else around. So I can get to the city, city champs and beat the game intentionally. Now, before we start up to gate today's or we're just gonna like start the race like uh, right now. Uh, I'm gonna be talking about um, some new things that the Xbox Showcase showed us. Uh, you know, all the other games are coming out this year, and some games are gonna be coming out for next year, and some new uh, expansion packs coming into a familiar racing game that I'm way too uh, good at. And my favorite has to be Midnight Club. No, not Midnight Club. Forza Horizon 5 Hot Wheels. Now, you might be asking, Wilson, where already had the Hot Wheels expansion pack from Forza Horizon 3? Because we already played that game. Why is it why is this thing why is the expansion pack back now into Horizon 1? For instance, I don't know. I guess that uh, apparently for some reason, I guess that it's going to be part of a Horizon Nexus, I think, or the Hot Wheels Academy, probably, I don't know, I didn't get to know much, or actually, yeah, I did, because I watched it from Jake's, uh, vi from Jake's video, uh, Black Panther's video, and I think AR Talk Games video. But it makes no sense to why um, they brought the game back. Because, I mean, oh my gosh. Let me just go ahead and restart the race from the start and just talk about why uh, Forza brought the expansion pack back from Forza Horizon 3. Okay, if I'm going to be honest, that was just a lie. Uh, I was kind of happy at first to see it back and glad that they did. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, check out the previous video for my face expression seeing it. I was pretty excited to see it back. No joke. Now into Forza Horizon 5. And the reason I'm saying this is because I already felt like we already had the expansion pack from the third Horizon game that we just uh, just got done playing because I didn't finish the whole uh, expansion pack fully. Oh my god, I missed the freaking chip point. Okay, so what I'm trying to say is I didn't finish the whole Horizon Championship because I still had a lot of that to. Ah, I, I can't even talk. I am sorry, guys. I'm literally trying to like explain to y'all what I'm talking about. I literally had to finish all the Horizon uh, Championships that I. Curly didn't finish because I had to finish with the uh, A, the B class, A class, S1 class, and S2 class. Because I currently did not finish with those two. So I had to go all, I had to like finish through all of that and be done with it because I currently was an idiot and didn't finish with it at first because I didn't know why. I, I thought, for instance, I was done with it because that's what it did. But I forgot there was a rising champion. I meant to. What? How? How did? No. That that's not cool, man. How? That makes no sense. I was in first. How the hell was he in? That is that is stupid. That is like potentially stupid. Okay, I got to not miss that chip. That we can show. That asshole. You know what? For starters, I need to use my nitrous because I cannot be staying in the back all the freaking time if I'm going to get my ass handed to me. I don't want that. 
And I know that sounds wrong. I want to pause on that. But the reason is, I cannot miss that checkpoint. The checkpoint is the only thing that leads me to victory. And I do not want to miss it. So I got to hit this short little right right here and go straight into here. So that way I won't miss it. There we go. Ooh. And I was like getting my freaking my freaking back handed to me for the like third two restarts in the race. Okay. I know this guy's right behind me. Him and that Ram RC SR T10. I'm not even worried about him, him at first. I know you're gonna go that way. I know you're gonna be a moron or or a dick about it. Which I'm not gonna worry about. Anyway, let me get back to my topic to why I think to why I finished with the Horizon Championships. It's because I didn't know they were still new. Because I think to what uh, she said about you still need a lot of weight. You still need a lot of things to do to get finished. Because I did not notice that I had the Horizon Nexus. I thought, for instance, I already finished the game. I just didn't know that there was Horizon Champions. Because I did the championships in Australia uh, from the story mode of the race. I mean, from the story mode of the game. And how I had to get um, points or fans to get more uh, for the whole thing to be finished and done with I just didn't know that was a thing I didn't know that city changes were a thing because I had to finish that with each card that I take for rally for street racing off road each part that I had to take it on it made like zero sense to me to why that was a new thing because I didn't know what that did at first that was like completely new to me uh, it's like when you get to know things, you don't know what to do at first. You just need to understand what it means. So, as I got to know about it and know what to do, I didn't need to um, figure out what to do. All I needed to do was pick the card that I need for most parts and be finished with it intentionally. Oh my gosh, I'm having a freaking... Mother... Dude, am I like the bad driver or I'm just not having a good day right now? Because I tried to record Midnight Club LA Remix with no commentary. And I have not gotten a freaking break from it since. Oh my gosh, I'm going to go to the water. Oh my gosh. Sheesh. Like, I have not gotten no break from this, dude. What the freak? Okay, let me just go ahead and get back to what I'm saying. When I was trying to record Midnight Club LA Remix, I couldn't like record it because every time I do, um, for instance, I noticed something that was going on with it. It was the 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 map. The map kind of stays stuck for two minutes because I was on the new textures, and I think the textures kind of make makes it freeze like that. And I couldn't like record it for no reason. So that means I can't literally record it if that if I like you know go to the map area. And when I was about to be done with it, I got a call from Lester. It's like I mean curly it can't do the same thing to when I was calling Lester. And whoop do do, I was wrong. It did the same thing. So apparently Midnight Club LA Remix is not going to be, uh, let's say for instance, it's not going to be recorded at all or made as a let's play. I am not going to do that. So y'all are welcome for that because I was going to do no commentary at all. Like legit, no commentary because I was like thinking, hmm, should I do a commentary or no commentary? And apparently... I was going to do no commentary for the first and second game let's play so that so I'm not going to be doing that that one is not going to be done no more because we're done with that oh my gosh is the freaking I'm not going back to that because I know that's going to freaking score the recording I'm not going to do that if it keeps on lagging I'm just going to use this 
Oh my gosh, it's lagging badly. Very badly. So we're just going to ignore that the fact that it's lagging like that. I don't know why. I don't know why it's lagging. I don't get why. We're just going to ignore it. It can lag all that it wants to, but I'm not going to pay attention to it at all. We're not going to pay attention to it if it keeps on lagging like this. Jeez. Dude, I swear, every time I record this game, I feel like that when I, when I force this to stop lagging, it's going to keep doing the same thing no matter what I do. And it's the one thing I hate in anything I do in Let's Play. It lags for no reason. And when the game just like renders in for no reason, it like renders so slowly. I can't even like, 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 you know, drive or race or, or, or nothing at all. I can't do nothing about it. This is a special move that's called aggro aggro is where you use it to smash any items or any vehicles and you get one uh boot you get one uh bar up to your thing and you have to use it very wisely to oh my gosh i hate why you see what i mean it's running so freaking slow because every time it stops 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 i cannot drive or race in this game like God, like goodness, just cut it out, dude. Even when I mean when it's lagging, I'm not even doing a damn thing. Like, just stop. See, this is what I'm talking about. Whenever I, dude, this is what I'm talking. You see, you see what I mean? You see what I mean? I don't know if the open GL is causing this thing to happen. And let me tell you something. Open GL and Falcon are different kind of paths. Because when you use open GL, it's going to tell you to use the auto frame skip. And when I use that auto frame skip, it's not gonna do nothing at all. It's just going to completely do this for no reason. And when I use Falcon because of the new textures, it like completely resets my phone and I hate it. So I could even like use the freaking Falcon. And I can't even use Falcon because it's going to like lag for no reason. Because I can't race at all. I can't do nothing. I can't do nothing. Nothing at all. It's just going to keep doing that every single time. And I'm not going to get a freaking break from it. Like, nothing at all. I'm not going to get no break. Oh, gosh. I have not been getting a freaking break from this, dude. This is going to keep doing the same thing. You know what? No, 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 I'm just going to save it. I'm just not. I'm just going to A few minutes later. <sighs> Let's hope this doesn't do it. Please just don't. What's wrong with you, bro? What the heck? You tripping, bro. You tripping! <laughs> this is why I hate things like this. So if you guys would give me about a half in 20 minutes, I gotta reset the settings and do it again. I'm getting frustrated as ever. So excuse me for about 20 minutes. This is going to take me a while. I know it sucks and it's painful. Believe me. It is. Five minutes later. All right. After resetting the settings, fixing everything that I did wrong, we are back. One once again and finishing the race in San Diego and continuing it in Atlanta so after fixing everything that was wrong with it and 
I mean, for instance, I noticed something with setting. I noticed something when I did the settings. I know what I did wrong because every time I reset it, uh, when I was looking at some other some somebody else's video, it doesn't work because when I like try to look for the game settings for each one, it literally doesn't show me nothing. It doesn't show me whose setting do I use, whose setting do I use for which for which part, and. For no reason, it doesn't show me anything for no one's settings. Nothing at all. I can't look for no one's settings, and I can't find out who did or did what. I can't find out who did the right thing or the wrong thing. I don't know how most of the settings on any PSP app or Android works. It makes no sense. I mean, literally, I'm on a Motorola phone and apparently it can play to any game and it won't laugh for no reason and apparently it's gonna do this to me what the freak even <sighs> it only took me about uh let's say about yeah I did say about 20 minutes because it's gonna take me a little bit longer to reset everything Put everything, put you know, put everything back together, and just get this game out the way and done. Because I'm mad, I'm frustrated, and I'm pissed. Because I'm telling you all this, I have not been getting a freaking break from this man. Not one damn break from anything. Ugh. <sighs> It's just that every time that it does that, I don't know what to do. It makes no sense. Am I doing the wrong thing? Am I not doing the, the correct things? Like, what am I doing wrong? Like, what the f am I doing? Like, what am I supposed to do? Not do this, not do that. I don't get it. I don't get nothing in this. I don't get it. I don't understand. I don't know a gosh darn thing about these apps. They make no damn sense. <sighs> uh, it's just that my whole freaking. I'm just going through a little bit of uh, emotions or a little bit of a mood system right now. Or I'm just going through a little bit of a mood right now because I'm getting mad as ever. I can't get no break for nothing. And it's just gonna do this to me. To me, it has. Multiple times. And I hate when they do that. When it's not supposed to. When you're on some new phones, they don't lag. Even if you're on, if you're on an old one or a new one, they don't lag like that. Nothing like that ever lags. Oh my gosh. Like, if you guys don't know about my stress levels of playing racing games like this, or any game intentionally, you guys are not going to see me uh, in much of a happy mood, much of a stutter mood. More of those moods when I mess up most of my recordings and can't even talk in general. This is what you're not going to get every single time. This is not always me. Not every time. Oh. Like. Try not to be angry, but it's just this freaking game. Why? Sorry. It just likes to test my emotions. And I don't like it when it tests my emotions like that. Oh. I'm just not happy right now guys I'm like mad I'm like upset I can't even like think straight at all if you guys know about my life struggle please just send me some good thoughts in the comment section down below please because I'm not having a good day today just please just send me some really good thoughts uh, if you guys enjoy this episode of Midnight Cup 3 Dub Edition and if you did, make sure to like, subscribe for all the
pain and suffering that I'm going through all the damn settings on every single thing I do. And as always, this is where the ghost starter S15 gentleman here signing off. Until uh, next time. Peace.